Good morning, and it's certainly a pleasure to be back at the Art Museum. For me, it's a, it's a little bit like the opportunity to set in church. There's something calming about being here, and I always feel so good and so relaxed when I come into the Art Museum. I, I absolutely love it. Uh, in a moment, I'm going to invite up Dr. Patricia McDonald here to discuss the light and shadow exhibit that's that's going to be premiering here this weekend, but I first want to promote a different kind of art, and that is literature. So on Thursday, August 8th, from 6 to 7.30 p.m. at the Advanced Learning Library, the Wichita Public Library, in sponsorship with friends and the Wichita Public Library, will host author and athlete Jennifer Farr Davis. She will give an author talk and will sign copies of her book, The Pursuit of Endurance. In 2011, Davis covered the 2,100 81 mile Appalachian Trail in 46 days, 11 hours and 20 minutes, maintaining an average of 47 miles per day. By doing this, she claimed the overall fastest known time on the Appalachian Trail and became the first woman to set that mark. She will discuss the mindset and action steps that lead to long-term success, will unveil the secrets of accomplished record setters, and will explain the building blocks of endurance. I invite everyone to come out for that event and hear about her amazing journey. The Art Museum, speaking of women with amazing talents, this Saturday, August 3rd, we'll invite you to come out to the museum for their opening of Light and Shadow. The exhibit features two women artists, Allison Schatz and Kumi Yamashita. And here to tell us all about that is Dr. Patricia McDonald, another amazing woman. Welcome back to the Art Museum. We love that you come and visit us pretty regularly, as a matter of fact. Um, so, Mayor Longwell, I want to talk about what happens at the Art Museum as an art feast. And when you go to a feast, you want to sample the different um, choices that you have uh, at the buffet. Recently, um, we presented for the city of Wichita a wonderful Georgia O'Keeffe exhibition, a nationally traveling exhibition. We had huge crowds uh, on one of our free days. You had to wait about an hour in line just to get into the show. So we brought a, a modern, an early modern historical artist. At the moment, we're swinging in an entirely different direction. So. You know, if you tasted roast beef, now you're going to get the salmon, perhaps. At any rate, um, it, it, important to do different things for different tastes of, of people in our city and in our region. And so now we're presenting contemporary art and contemporary glass art in particular and room size installation work. For whatever reason, the city hasn't seen a lot of this very large scale installation, contemporary art, it can be mind-blowing. I personally, when I walk into the gallery and, and see this work, I am gobsmacked. That's a new word I found. I, I, I absolutely love it. I, I, I think some of our visitors are going to be wowed. They're going to be uh, gobsmacked. So um, Allison Schatz is an artist who works with really large-scale installations that are hanging skeins of lines of glass bead. Kumi Yamashita is an artist who places on the wall an eclectic position of maybe their numbers, maybe their letters, um, d d d at any rate, different objects on the wall. And when those objects are struck with raking light, while it's just an assembly of numbers, now you see the profile of someone's face or there's a piece of wood on the wall, and now you see a woman seated in a chair. So one artist is the light, and the other artist is the shadow. They're both asking questions and, and sort of pushing ideas about, you know, what is sculpture? And um, does it, in fact, need to have material substance? they would both answer no. So we had this really wonderful historical uh, painter, and now we have two living contemporary artists who are bringing to Wichita um, sort of the leading edge of um, ideas and, and beauty 
that artists living today are creating. And when, and again, we're so happy that um, you've brought this attention to us. Of course, nothing happens at the Art Museum without fabulous, enlightened patrons and donors. And I want to first acknowledge the city of Wichita because we are in a city facility that they t attend uh, well. Um, and we receive support from the city. We also receive support for all our exhibitions from the Friends of the Wichita Art Museum. And for this show in particular, we receive support from the F. F. Price Kosman Trust that is uh, managed by Interest Bank, the DeVore Foundation, the Shaw Family Foundation, and Nancy and Bob Schwann also contributed to help us uh, bring this exhibition and present it um, in Wichita to people who are just going to find this work amazing. So thank you again. Well, we, we truly appreciate everything that, that you do here. Um, this is going to be a fabulous exhibit. I just wish that uh, between you and Teresa Vizi, you would decide which one of you want to be president, which one vice president, and I think we can fix this country. So. You guys are wonderful and we'll open it up for questions. <laughs>